the 10th most selling EV last year was the Cybertruck. I did not realize that the X sold that many. I didn't even know they produced that many. You know, we, we've gone from like one or two, three EVs available across all companies to now. You want an actual top 10 list and you could do a top 20 list, I'm sure too. So number three, the Ford Mustang Mach-E sold 51,700 units. I am shocked by that. I didn't think that one was going to be in the top 10. Rivian, Rivian number two. Uh, Rivian didn't even make the list. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. I'm here in studio today with our resident engineer, Mike Herzog. How's it going today, Mike? Glad to be here, David. I will tell you, I, I taught a seven-hour seminar class on EVs yesterday. So like, I am, I am ready to just keep rolling into this. I'm going to go on into what the 10 best selling now we're, we're talking here. This is us sales. Okay. So in the United States, the 10th most selling EV last year was the cyber truck. Okay. They sold 24 estimated 24,300 units in the United States. I'm starting to see more and more of them around Omaha, but, uh, it just barely beat out the BMW i4 and Chevy Blazer, which each sold 23,000. It sold 24,000. The Cadillac Lyric sold 28,000. That's one that you don't, I mean, I see them occasionally. It's always, always in the background. Yeah. The Lyric does not really look so much like it's not a gas car. So if you saw one of these driving around, you really just can't tell. Even the front grille, even though it's a little bit EV-ish, if you look here, it still has some slats for air, yeah, yeah. which an EV does not need. And so you typically see that flat front on an EV, but this one no, didn't have it. But the Chevy Equinox, which was Chevy's new entry, sold almost 29,000 units. That's a pretty good deal. It, it's funny, you know, GM is doing some stuff. They probably honestly have about the most models out there now. And they're supposed to bring the Bolt back this year. I'd heard that. So number seven is actually kind of surprising to me. The Tesla Model X sold 31,400 units. Oof. I did not realize that the X sold that many. I didn't even know they produced that many. <laughs> yeah, um, that that's a surprising number for that. But the new entrant, the Honda Prologue, was number six. So it went from nothing to number six. Now, the Chevy Equinox was in the same boat, but the Prologue sold 33,000 units in the United States in 24. And I bet it's going to be real big in 25. I mean, it's another one that when you look at it, while it does have the flat front, it really is um, subdued. I, I like the look of the Prologue. You know, if you see this, you don't realize, and it, it's just like most of the Hyundais and Kias, you don't realize they are EVs. Yeah, I, I think um, you know, Honda has such high brand loyalty. Uh, I, I can see this one where people... Even if they had thought about it last year, all right, let it get a year under its belt. If there's any bugs, work them out. But I, I can see that car start to do very, very well, especially in that size class, like the SUV, you know, kind of crossover space. It's not one of the honking things, but you got some trunk space. You have enough enough room for everybody. I can I can see that. But anyways, number five in the U.S. was the F-150 Lightning, 33,500 units. I was wondering where that one was going to pop in. Yeah, so it outsold the Cybertruck last year. The Hyundai Ionic 5 sold 44,000 units. Now, this was one for a while the Ionics were only sold in California. You know, it, it's nice looking. But once again, if you look at a whole bunch of the Hyundai and Kias, the gas cars and the EVs look the same. I, I was just about to say that it's, I always think I see an Ionic 5 somewhere. And it's like, oh, and it's a, Oh no, that's just a. It's a Kona. Yeah, that's 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 one of their other models. Yeah, it's just very very similar. So here was a big one. So number three, the Ford Mustang Mach E sold fifty one thousand seven hundred units. I am shocked by that. I didn't think that one was going to be in the top ten. That is the top non Tesla vehicle in twenty twenty four. The Ford Mach E. The Ford Mustang Mach E was the top non Tesla selling EV in the United States. Never would have guessed. Uh, if you think about this, w the only Hyundai in the list is the Ionic 5. There was no Kias, but the Kias got the EV6, the EV9. No, none of those made the list. Now we get into the big dog of EV sales in the United States. So Rivian, 
Rivian number two. Uh, Rivian didn't even make the list. So here, here was the thing with Rivian. So Rivian sold about 40,000 consumer models last year between the R1S and the R1T, but they didn't say which sold more. I would assume the R1S sold more, but they're saying that they each probably sold about 20,000 and that wasn't enough to even be in the top 12 at 20,000, which, which, which is good for the industry. It just shows that there's starting to be some, you know, we, we've gone from like one or two, three EVs available across all companies to now. You want an actual top 10 list and you could do a top 20 list, I'm sure too. Yeah, you could do a top 20 list. Yeah, because there's, there's all kinds of models. I think we have like 40 plus models. So the Tesla Model 3 is number two, and this is an estimate at 145,100 units. So, I mean, it's not even close between the 50 something, 51,000, they, they tripled. Almost, almost add up the rest of the top 10 list and it didn't match that sale. Uh, well, especially when you, we get to the next one. <laughs> number one is the Tesla Model Y at 405,900 sale. 405,000? Yes. Holy shit smokes worldwide they sold something like nine hundred and ninety thousand of these okay so about 45 percent of all the ones they sold were sold in the u.s 40 percent or 40 percent anyways 41 percent something like that yeah doug demuro was on some finance show i was watching and they asked him what would be you know for somebody just needing a typical commuter car or whatever um, that would be cheap to own long term. It would be, you know, wouldn't be a poor decision. His first thought was Model Y. Yeah, and he said after that maybe Rav Four. I, I I think if if you bought a Model Y, you would not be disappointed. Is the impression I would get from the price point, its performance, uh, how it runs, just everything is so. I I think people would be most people would be pretty happy with that purchase. Maybe. Now, go, going back to the top 10 list, I'm gonna I'm excited to see that for 2025 as like the Volvo EX30 comes in because that's done so well in Europe, so well in Europe. And I think that's another um, company that has brand loyalty in that, you know, Volvo drivers have been have been waiting, you know, that little midsize SUV waiting for that replacement as this one comes out. Oh, I, I think that's one that's going to attract new people to Volvo. That that's going to get people who traditionally wouldn't have bought Volvo to move over there. And um, we were talking about that yesterday. I, I'm still not sure if they've delivered any to the U.S. yet. They said they were going to deliver some in December, but I've not seen any news stories about anybody saying they actually did get delivered. I've, I've just, I'll, I'll have, I've been here in 2025. You know, it's they'll be here in 2025, but I haven't paying that close of attention. Hi, I'm David with EB World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.